Okay, good morning. Uh, thanks for sharing your plan. Makes this sort of thing a lot easier to do. So you want to fix this here. It looks like you're expanding to the existing house, a covered porch. That's fine. Now, this just has too much overhang. I think that's the first thing I'm going to fix. Go back to the plan view. I haven't looked at what all these are. Off ankle wall. I just ignore. Those will come back. They're kind of distracting though. Pardon me for just handling them. Okay, now I never use a snap grid. I'm going to turn that off. Snapgrid, I found uh, to be counterproductive. Okay, it looks like it's turned off here. I'm going to go to the general plan defaults. And oh, Snapgrid. Okay, that's a, what's too long. That's better. Okay. So the overhang here. You can hear the see the rip plane there. It just got goofy off overhang. So now let me check. I want to make sure I know where the baselines are on the roof plane. So I'm going to open display options. By the way, this is X15 in Chief Architect Premier, but they're very similar and they're they're absolutely the same in terms of tool. This is Chief Architect Premier is the Maserati and uh, uh, Home Designer Pro is the uh, Toyota version, you might say. Okay, anyway. Oh yeah, I want to... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I forgot what I was doing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm getting like Joe Biden. <laughs> Sorry about that political reference. Uh, I want roofs, baselines. Okay, you see it's off. I knew it was off. Now, Okay, I see a problem right off. See, this roof baseline right here, that's a pitch indicator, the perpendicular. And this one here is it's supposed to be over here. I, that might, be, might, might not be what you're complaining of, but uh, I'm going to take this roof plane and use point to point move, left click. Oh, I see. You got auto roofs on them. Wow, I wonder, wonder why the roof, auto roof generator is getting the roof, the roof baseline so far out of sync. Well, I would think this overhang probably just matches the overhang of the adjacent roof line. That's what, look, what looks architecturally correct to me. Check it out. Yeah, I think that's all, that's all bad. That was simple. <clears throat> now, the deal here, I'm going to show you in this camera view so it's easier to think with. I'm going to take this drill plane and delete it. Okay, and the, the, roofs, the uh, walls pop up as they're supposed to do. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, start this in the camera view. 
they finish it in the plan of view so I can do it with precision. We put a wall break, I mean, a, a line break right here, <clears throat> which creates another section of the roof I can manipulate. So that's how your house is. And the software just being the software, it does that automatically. It's pre programmed to chop off walls. And when it doesn't chop off walls, the roof pokes through. We'll put a break there and just bring it out. That's it. Now, all these gutters is kind of goofy. <laughs> I would, now you do, this is your plan, but if it was my plan and I wasn't addressing the gutters, I would just turn them off. So let me go back to plan view. And a quick way to do that is just to select the build roof dialog, which makes it the active tool. They can mark you select and everything relative to roofs will be selected. See, I'm gonna go over to gutter and delete. Now, the, whoops, I guess that's on the sec second floor. But on this, these two planes are not on the first floor. So I'm going to manually get those. Okay, now I'm going to go to plan view. Okay, here's the, I think that's the target area. Let me, uh, oh yeah, there it is. And there it is. These, these are attic walls. Uh, I'm gonna turn the attic walls off. Walls attic. Walls attic. <sighs> okay, so you're, main overhang and so you can't auto build roofs anymore once you start manual editing if you auto build again it undoes all it undoes all the manual roof editing that you do okay we got 12 and where's the overhang 18 okay fine so that's not 18 here I knew it wouldn't be. That's the reason I... It's evening all this stuff up. I'm not getting an auto dimension here. Okay, that's good. There we go. Okay. Now let me turn the color up. It's hard to see. I'm going to change this to vector view. There it is. Let me turn the color off. I can find the color button. <clears throat> I don't see the color button. Maybe it's going to 3D. I'm sorry, I'm having, having trouble finding that icon to turn the color off, and I don't remember where it is in the menu. Well, okay, I'll just skip it and go on. Uh, now I need, uh, 
Yeah, there we go. I think that looks like a picture of your house. So that needs to be a little adjusted. And you need to adjust this stuff here. I'll let you do that. Now, uh, fix that, fix that. I know you didn't specifically ask about this, but I don't, and I don't know exactly what you're planning, but a good way to start, you got these roofs out. Now, of course, I don't know, I'm going to leave this alone because you didn't complain about it. And I, and I don't know what your creative intentions are there. So let me take a look. I'm looking on back. How do I fix the gable? I showed you that. How do I lower the roof of the porch without lowering the floor? Well, if you're trying to do this automatically, eh, that's very difficult to do. I don't know how far down you want to move the porch, but I'll show you how I would do it. You want this peak to come out further down my this roof is not connected to other roofs. Okay, it's not. These roofs are not connected to any of these roofs over there. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do this in an elevation camera because I can do it with more precision. Okay, I want to get out of, uh, there we go. Uh, I want to get into the vector view. Oh, still don't see what a color icon is. What I'm looking for is an icon that turns the color off. Makes all this so much clearer. Well, I look for it again. And I don't see it. What are you going to do? Maybe I can try with these others. What is that glass sound? No, I don't glass sound. Well, that's a bit better. Okay, I'll go with this. So, it, I assume you're talking about this roof and this roof because this this is where you would in, apparently intend to add a porch. And I would think you would want this eave just above this window. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm showing you how to do it. I'm going to go to Dimension Tools and measure from the top of the fascia down to about where I want the top of the fascia to end up. And look at the value, that's 18 inches. So I'm gonna click on this roof plane. And then while it's selected in the edit toolbar, this is the edit toolbar down here, by the way. Unless you drag it off, you'd never see that it actually says edit. In the edit toolbar, there's a tool here called Transform Replicate. See it? Transform Replicate Object. You click on it, you get a dialog. And what I want to do with this, these are all the various things I can do with a selected object. In this case, I just want to move the selected object and I move it down minus 18 inches. And it moves down 18 inches. Now I'm going to get this to a plane, press the shift key and get this to a plane. Got them both. Same thing. Transform, replicate, move, minus delta, Z delta, minus. Done. So 
if you're going to use auto auto roofs, then you, your only other way to move the uh, roof point would be to roof to there to lower the ceiling height of this room, but there's no room here. So you can't do it that way until there's a room. This sticking roof points there, they're gonna follow the, the default settings of the entire first floor until they're over here under edit. Default settings, floors and rooms, floor levels, first floor. Then you go edit. This is what it's going to do globally on the first floor. And, then, and commonly, I'll, I'll set this setting here to what the majority ceiling height is on the first floor. And then you can make adjustments on the fly in individual uh, room specification dialogues, structure tabs. But the software is going to robotically follow the setting here in terms of controlling things by way of room specification dialogue. So anyway, I lowered this, and uh, I assume that's what you wanted to do. Let me take a look at your thing. Uh, how do I fix the game while I showed you that? I don't want to lower the roof port. I guys did that. How do I fix the wonky gable roof extension over the porch and garage? Porch and garage. Uh, I'm not quite sure what you what you might which what porch. There's only one garage, so I assumed the wonky gable. Oh, well, let me look, let me take a look at your photographs. See if I can figure out what you're talking about. Uh, well, on the existing house, well, your overhang's a lot stingier than we have it in the model. That's that's no big deal. Oh, now I see it. This. Wow. Well, I don't see this in your model. That's the main thing missing. Take a look at this plan view. I need to go to the first floor. Okay, well, there's that bump out. Oh. There's a gable roof here. There's nothing over here. Let me take another look at this. Yeah, this, that doesn't belong there. That, that doesn't belong there. That's not in your existing house. So I, I don't understand why you put it there unless you intend Put a porch here. If you're going to porch there, want a porch there, you got to put a porch there. Well, I see some walls here. Okay, you created rooms here. You turn the plants off. Got the contours on, looks like. Turn some of this junk off. Uh, okay. I couldn't see the walls for all the clitter clutter. Okay. Let's, you must be 
intending to add this on because this doesn't match the photograph. Well, what's wrong going on with this? Let's see what's going on. You see what the full level is? Oh yeah, you got 16 inches above. It needs to be minus three. It needs to be lower than the house, otherwise whenever it rains, the thing like this would flood your flood your house. Turn that label on. The fact that it covered pores. And four height to not 16 inches minus three for drainage. And you've got the ceiling tur turned off. I wonder if that's on purpose. Let me check something. Yeah. I'll make sure when I see. I'll give this back to you that you can continue editing it in Pro. Okay. Yeah, it's my covered porch. I can see where you turn those labels off. You got all that stuff on. We turn that crap off. It's under rooms. Rooms. There we go. Turn that off. Turn that off. I have to think about this. I think I, if I'm wrong, then I just wasted some time. No big deal. So, although I created a room here, it's below the terrain. So what I'm going to do is. Uh, Create a room polyline. And then I'm going to uh, expand it to cover both spaces. And I'm going to convert it into a terrain feature. Uh, hang on, uh, don't go nuts now. And make that a hole in a terrain so that you can see the porch. Now, maybe the terrain needs to be adjusted so that the porch isn't below grade, but anyway. I wonder why the door should be at zero inches. Oh, look at that. That's goofy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Now, of course, I don't know your plan, but you never, never, never change the floor default to 16 inches. It's always zero. Now, maybe you're, you can have different floor levels on, on a floor, but majority of everything needs to be zero. Let me see what you've done here. Now, you can't do this in pro, what I'm fixing to do. But that's one of the reasons why you pay so much more for Chief Architect Premier. I'm going to use this tool here. Now, I want to know what rooms are following the room I just set. And that's as to uh, floor 
elevation. So very few of the rooms are set to zero inches. Let me check that again. Ah. Oh, here we go. Let me fix that. I'm sorry. I know you can't do this, bro, and so it's kind of boring, but uh, let me check it again. The reason I'm checking it again is because if it's done wrong in the first place, the software kind of resists new changes. So now I'm going to use this tool, which doesn't exist in Pro, to transfer these values to these other spaces. I'm making these spaces match the floor level. Now I'm not going to mess with that deck. The deck shouldn't match the house. I don't know what the garage is supposed to be. And see it. Now it looks correct, more correct. Whoa. See the garage is below below grade. Oh, let's see what it where that's uh Okay, no, the setting's wrong. You just floor into this room, then you can control it. Okay, so it's... I'm gonna make it minus six. See, garage floors are commonly slanted, and so, uh, you know, they're slanted from back to front for drainage again. So let's look at that garage door. See, the bottom of the door is down here. Let me give you another view on that. See, here's the girl, let's see. Here's the garage floor, and there's the terrain. So the terrain needs to be lowered right here at the garage. From there. About seven inches. Turn the terrain jump back on. What's that? Zero. When they're right there. Um, I need it to have the we got eleven. See, I think that's more realistic. Maybe one more inch. Hey Jeff, good morning. Good morning. 
That's my son. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to skip this ba baseline thing. I'd normally be concerned about that, but it seems to be generally working. So that's under moves. Turn that off. And that off. Then what I would do, okay, let me continue the I'm just doing what's indicating to me. This may be more than you care to know, but. Well, it's all looking better. They did a really good job on this model. I was like, whoa. <laughs> Maybe towards, so the model needs some more, more adjusting. Or this area that you pumped up, drop down, maybe. I'll leave that to you to fix. But when you get getting to varying core levels, and it, it gets a little more difficult to deal with sometimes in the software. Okay, now these, again, I don't know what, exactly what your ten, intentions are. I'm going to group select these. <clears throat> to show you something you might be able to use. Make them visible. They're already railing. We'll go to rail style. And post to beam. No half post. And noodles and balancers. I'm just going to leave them post for now. And... Uh, this controls the size of the posts or newels. Uh, and it's three and a half. Oh, I see. It's using the wall width. And we'll, I'll leave it at that. So you can uncheck this and you know, make them bigger. But, or you could use columns. You go over here to library. Here you can get round or square or a library, like a column. And then in this thing here, I like to have, I never draw rails because that covers everything up. So we'll draw the newels and uh, I'm not gonna use the faults. And I don't see a need for balusters. So let me go back over here and get rid of the balance for stuff. And uh, open. Okay, I think that's everything. Now let's just invisible because I don't know what you're, you divided these up so Maybe you intend no ceiling over here or see I, I don't know. I'm not clairvoyant, so I'll leave that to you. And you can control, control the number of posts here. I'm click on this wall here. Open this dialog box. Go to Newels and Balancers and change the settings so that it eliminates the center pole. See, I'm going to do the same thing here. Double click on the wall, newels and balancers, spacing. It's some figure that's larger between the two, two posts. See? And then the same here. Newels and balancers, uh, spacing. I didn't do it enough. There you go. Mark at least. And if you 
if you intend to extend this out, you need to extend the porch out so you can extend these supporting walls underneath. I mean, whether you've got a post here or a column, that's got to have something here to hold this junk up. Well, I think that's about all the, all the time I can waste for you. <laughs> you can, uh, I'll post the plan and uh, share the video and then live happily ever after, I hope. Good day.